Section 25. Overview. Section 25 was a secret department of the Ministry of State Security of the GDR. It was tasked with the research into anomalies for utilization by the state to achieve its own goals. The main focus was, among other things, anomalous applications of espionage, sabotage, and control of the populace. Section 25 existed from 1956 until 1989 and was closed down so that the staff members of the department would not face persecution. Whilst Section 25 might not exist anymore, the anomalies created by it are left behind unsupervised. Using the remaining documentation describing Section 25, the Foundation is devoting its effort to try to locate and recover the remains of the section. However, they discovered on multiple occasions that they went fast enough to do so. The whereabouts of a large portion of the anomalies are still unknown. The Cagus Cornelia Collective Overview The Cagus Cornelia Collective is an active organization hostile to the Foundation that wants to achieve the release of sentient SCPs contained by the German branch of the Foundation. The collective attacks sites of the German branch and free sentient SCPs. The Kegis Cornelia Collective is led by so-called branches and stem. The collective has existed for quite some time, but revealed itself to the public only after the DE B-33 incident on Beep, 19 Beep. Since then, the Kegis Cornelia Collective has sabotaged several Foundation sites. It is known that the Collective has contacts with other groups of interest. The Foundation is aware of the Collective and is trying to contain the members of said Collective. It is not known where the members of CC currently are located. The possibility of a static site of residence for members is being considered. The origin of the members as well as the Collective is not known. IMBW Overview Founded in 1993 as a Berlin Research Institute, the Institute for Human Education and Development describes an institute of scientists, researchers, and professors who have made it their mission to collect anomalies all over the world for the use and benefit of the human species. When it became clear that the institute was in possession of anomalous artifacts, the Foundation became aware of them. For inexplicable reasons, no anonymous objects, entities, or information about them are found in the Institute during searches. Days after the search, the institution disappeared without a trace. In 2004, an incident occurred within the Foundation in which a Level 3 staff member turned out to be a member of the IMBW. According to him, he decided to join the IMBW during his career at the Foundation and has acted as a spy in the Foundation since his membership in 2002. According to discovered information, the institution has continued to exist since its inception, with the primary approach being to salvage and use of anonymous objects to maintain, develop, and enhance human education and the human being. The institution has not always been a major issue for the Foundation, and attempts have rarely been made to steal SCPs from the Foundation. Even though the Institute has a great interest in some SCP objects, it has sufficient respect for the power of the Foundation. The Magus Academy Overview The Magus Academy is a group with locations in several European countries, headquartered in Germany, whose mission is to explore and teach the safe use of anomalous skills in the form of magic. While the Foundation considers anomalies to be a danger and tries to control them by all means, the Academy sees anomalies as a natural part of the world and tries to achieve a harmonious coexistence by dealing with anomalies in a largely non-violent and scientific way. The Academy has 
covert agents in most of the major locations of the local speaking foundation, and some in Europe who observe the foundation's work, exert influence here and there, and coordinate secret support or countermeasures through the academy. Since its exposure by an Agrodin of the Fourth Reich, the academy has kept a low profile, but has recently taken the initiative and is now trying to work with the foundation. Raptor Tech Industries Overview Raptor Tech Industries is a corporation for research and development. As of yet, the only known site is located at the border between Germany and Austria. Raptor Tech specializes in weapons, vehicles, drones, and artificial intelligence, though their main focus is on drones and AI. Originally, Raptor Tech Industries was a supplier for the foundation in Germany. When the foundation realized that it delivered the equipment had anomalous properties, it tried to gain control over Raptor Tech by force. It failed, and the only known site was destroyed. Years later, new products of Raptor Tech have appeared on the black market, and foundation sites within Germany have been repeatedly attacked. It is assumed that Raptor Tech is testing its products during these attacks. The Sonder Commando for the Paranormal Overview The Sonder Commando for the Paranormal is an organization of the Third Reich for the investigation of anomalies, which in our reality was dissolved after the fall of the Third Reich. In incident 028DE I2 the SKP attempted to invade our reality from reality R3378DE, which could only be narrowly averted by a contemplation of happy circumstances. The SKP must be seen as absolutely hostile. It is known that it will try again to invade our reality, and then we'll be much better prepared. If they, if they fail to wall off their invasion at an early stage, it is to be assumed that they can no longer be stopped. Due to a data leak, numerous data from R3378DE could be tapped. The Fourth Reich Overview The Fourth Reich is an organization led by an occultist and scientist that calls himself Heras. According to information found by the Foundation, Ross worked for the Third Reich from 1941 to 1943, until the SS considered him a great threat and tried to assassinate him. Here Ross has since secretly worked on the creation of a successor organization named the Fourth Reich. Beside Ross, the Fourth Reich mostly consists of people that are recruited by Ross and obtained anomalous abilities through a mix of rituals and experiments. For example, SCP-077-DE and SCP-097-D. This was done to enable them to destroy the unclean and, in the future, take control of the biggest political factions. Her Ross also created and or modified various machines through rituals and experiments, such as SCP-084-DE. Her Ross knows about the foundation, but by his own accord, doesn't consider it a threat, rather as an insignificant annoyance. Though he has also expressed his admiration for the Foundation and described it as the guardian of this world. Das Wunder Company Overview The group of interest known as Das Wunder Company is a relatively small organization with an unknown agenda that sells anomalous everyday goods and custom-made products. Despite several attempts to contain anomalies made by the group, the cabinet has never shown signs of hostility towards the foundation. Miss Melibellis first came into contact with the SCP Foundation in 1995 with the discovery of SCP-124-DE-1. Since then, the German branch of the foundation has documented an increasing number of incidents in which other persons have revealed themselves as members of the group of interest does wonder covenant, which apparently has Miss Milbillis as its leader. Even though the cabinet has shown several attempts to help the foundation, 
the group is seen as a threat to normalcy, as the improper handling of products has often led to personal injury, property damage, and or even cover-ups. Members are also cooperative with many other groups of interest, which has increasingly led to global action. The complete arrest of the group is further hampered by the fact that they operate from a shop with a spatial anomaly, have other anomalies and even support from larger groups of interest.